Is that all? I don't know. I'll have a look. Any head shakes? No, not, I can't really see anything or feel anything. Here's a big fella coming past. Gee. Going out game fishing by the looks of it. Nothing stopping that boat. I mean, we're passing a lot of bait. Yeah, all right, might as well keep going. False alarm. False alarm, but anyway, on that false alarm, g'day, I'm Mark from Self Fishing Me, and, well, we decided that we would just do a little bit of trolling after we got out in the bay, and uh, it's pretty rough out here. A couple of big boats are going past us out to the fishing grounds, out deeper, but we, we just don't want to do that in this little thing as capable as this 1850 Stabycraft Fisher is we just don't want to do that anyway we decided that we would just of course not just pay it off we would stay out here and just troll around in about 12 meters of water somewhere close to the land and when the conditions blow up we can get straight back in without any troubles well that's how we've started let's see if we get lucky let's Get out there. So the Bribey Bridge is only just over there. We're, we're pretty close. We're gonna have a look at our very first beacon that we ever made it to, which is this one up ahead. It's uh, one of our favorites because We've caught a few small fish there, we cut our teeth on it and we named it Upchuck Point because that's where the three of us, me and my two boys, on our first solo boat trip all got sick because we weren't, we didn't take any sickness pills and so um, we had to go straight back into the boat ramp and have a bit of a rest and then come back out. So we've nicknamed it Upchuck Point for that reason. We thought we'd just troll to there, nice and leisurely, and uh, we might have a look around that beacon, see if there's any bait, and see if there's... We, we might chuck a few slugs out and see if we get lucky. Well, not much luck at the beacon, James. No, no luck at the beacon, unfortunately. I mean, this is what you get, sort of, you know, it's kind of a rare chance you catch anything right at here at the, the beacon at Bribe Island. It's only five metres of water too. This is probably the most shallowest beacon there is. And the, the closest one too, to the passage. And uh, we've caught squid and a few things here before, but yeah, there's nothing here really. There is some life on the sounder and we've th thrown a few slugs to see if there's any mackerel around. Um, but there's no takers on that. So what we might do is just explore a little bit, still close inshore, and have a look around maybe some of the whiting grounds that we've heard about that we haven't visited, and have a look there. I think it's called Cockle Banks. And we'll just have a troll, maybe a troll around later. But for now, we might just make it to Cockle Banks and have a look and see if there's any smaller stuff that we can target, maybe flathead and whiting. Little flatty? Little flatty. Little flatty on my white in line. The thing is I'm using a really heavy rod and a heavy line. I think this is about 40 pound litre. But um, we didn't bring the right gear for whiting because we didn't expect to be doing whiting fishing or flathead fishing. Oh, there you go. See how I release them? <laughs> and. Um, yeah, so that's that's the go. We didn't expect to be out here doing this, but you know, you got to look at the conditions, assess them when you're out here. If it's different to what the weather was, this is what we're learning. If it's different to what we were expecting, well then you got to change your plan, have a plan B, and I'm not going to go straight back in home and with my tail between my legs. This, you know, what like they say about a bad day's fishing better than a, a good day at work. So. Here we are in this beautiful surrounds. We're in shallower water, it's safer, and we're having a bit of fun. This is a brim or something, I know. Oh. What is, oh, is that a little catfish? Oh. Yeah, 
I haven't caught many of them wow. in the bay. That's that's different. We've never caught that. No. Very wow. different. Remember, you catch these in the dam all the time. You got to be careful of that dorsal spike. Yeah. Yeah. Got a bit of poison in the end of it. I think they do. So you got to fold them down if you're going to hold them from the back, but. Yeah, that looks like a little catty, all right, little catfish. Haven't caught them for a long time. I suppose being closer to shore, closer to the estuaries, you're going to get these types of species. Huh. Cool. Would there be any nice? Uh, well, we we used to eat them. That size or? Um, no, bigger have to be than way that. Bigger. Yeah, and they were all right. They weren't too bad. Yeah. You know, these are a fre they were a fresh watery. These are probably fresh and salt. But um, they weren't really something we really targeted. We'd take them as a bycatch off. We'd be going for yellow belly and Murray Cod with my grandfather. And these were a bycatch, but we'd still eat them. Boom! <laughs> wow, off like a rocket. I think it might be a shark or a mackerel. Not a mackerel, you wouldn't think. I reckon it's a gummy shark yeah. or a stingray. Well, probably a stingray, really. But they run, though. Yeah, I reckon we're, we're fishing in a different part of the world here. I reckon you've got yourself a little gummy shark or stingray. I mean, it, it busted up on the water, didn't it? I didn't see it, I just saw your line go over. You might have to oh, reel that in a... that rod, Dad. Okay, I'll, I'll pull, pull, pull both of them in. I don't know what this is. It's, I think it's going to be a shark. Surely it's not a big flatty. No. <laughs> Wouldn't be that lucky, would we? It's a shark. I saw it. What is, that's a mackerel, is it? No, no it's a shark. It's a shark. Yeah, look at him. Look at that. Wow, nicely hooked. Beautiful hook. You know you can eat shark. Yeah. I don't think we will though, eh? Uh, not today. No. Well. All right, well. This is going to be a difficult process. So I'll I guess just get the pliers. We've, we've got the long nose pliers. Yeah, this should do. Okay. Oh, well, there's the real long ones. Are they right they easy to get? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, they're not that much longer. They're right here. Oh, those ones. Huh? Yeah, that'll be better. Only a little fella. You could eat him, you know. What do you reckon we should? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I don't know shark species that well, so probably not good. Can you bring him in a bit closer? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, let's blow this net in the water and hopefully nothing eel can just swim off. There he goes. How's that? Bit of an effort that was, but uh, it was worth it. That was a nice catch, James. Yeah, yeah, well, my first ever SA Sharker brought up. Ever. Because usually when you get sharked, you just lose everything. Well, it's a good fish, isn't it? It's a nice fish. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but I mean, not, I'm, I'm not keen. I've eaten shark before, and I, I don't like, I don't like, um, what's the word? I don't mind eating them, but I don't like cleaning them and filleting them. It's, uh, it's a crap job with shark. So other guys out there, you might love shark, but... I, I prefer not to eat it. Well, he's parking right there. 
maybe have a bit of a swim off the beach. Well, we've come back into the passage because the wind is really blowing up, but in the passage is quite nice. It's a little windy, but that's fine. It's not that choppy. The water is absolutely beautiful. I wish I could jump in myself. We've got that boat over there. I'd say they're going to pull up there and have a bit of fun. But uh, we thought we might just try here at Buckley's Hole. And it's a, it's a bit of a funny name, Buckley's Hole. It's an odd name, but we've probably got Buckley's chance of catching anything here. That's probably how, why they named it that. But what we'll do is we'll throw in a bit of flatty, a bit of whiting. Let's have fingers crossed that we can go home with something. Well, James is out pumping some yabbies. Hopefully he gets some, and then we're gonna have a crack at the ripples across there. They call it the ripples, not the nipples, the ripples, uh, because it's ripply. Out from Pacific Harbour, you've got the canal coming out, and maybe we might get lucky and get some whiting or something else on these fresh yabbies. And that'll be our last ditch effort, I think. We can't catch anything then, well, we've done our best for the day. There we go, there's target species at the ripples. There's actually three following this. Too small, but that is the target, and that is on the plastic. I think the yabby lured it to them. We, we are using yabbies. James got some, didn't get a lot. I think the, they took the yabby and then saw the plastics. There you go. Tajay species. Tajay. There you go, out of there. It'd be nice to catch some bigger ones, but I bet we don't. What's <laughs> it got, James? Well, fishing at the front, just to get a better angle closer to the shore, because obviously whiting love the sand and, and close to the beach. And I finally got my first whiting of the day. A bit late and a bit too small, but oh, at least you'd say you, you caught your target species. Tajay. <laughs> Send him off. Gone. <laughs> well, on that note, we're going to be gone too. We've just about had enough of failing today. Look, it's been nice out in the water, but we, we've been done. We've been had. We've tried our best and we haven't come home with a fish. So there's one positive thing is, uh, well, probably two, the day out, learning some things and we don't have fish to clean. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it is positive. Yeah. Oh, honestly, James was playing a lot with them in Coda today just trying to work out how to drive it properly. He also was playing with the sounder, getting the settings right. So yeah, we're, we're just mucking around. On days like this, when the fishing is a bit slow, we just play with our machinery and try to get better at it. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you give us a big fishy thumbs up and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>